Hi guys, and welcome to Not My Kitchen. Uh, this was a couple years ago when we were in Colorado. We were about to go out for a hike, and I wanted to make us some hot apple cider to greet us when we got back. I realized when I loaded up the video, though, that the audio file was corrupted, so I just wanted to do a voiceover so you know what's going on and we can still use this video. So the first thing that I have here is just some Simply Apple. Now the thing that I like about using Simply Apple for this is because it is readily available basically whenever you want it. And it's very similar to a true apple cider. The difference between apple cider and apple juice is your apple juice is oftentimes going to be pasteurized. It will be filtered and also often have sweeteners added. A apple cider will be exactly the opposite of that, unfiltered, often unpasteurized, and also only having apple juice in it. The Simply Apple basically ticks all of those marks. Um, it is slightly pasteurized, but aside from that, it's just straight apples. So I'm just adding that into my crock pot. I do have my crock pot set to a low temperature, and then I'm going to add my spices. I love these little spice bags because I can put my whole spices in there and then just pull them out when I'm ready for the cider. You don't have to do that by any means, but it is a nice, neat little way to do it. So I added in two cinnamon sticks and I'm also adding in some star anise and some clove berries. Or not clove berries, I'm sorry, all spice berries. <laughs> you can use clove as well if you like. Um, I find the taste of the clove a little overpowering, so I just use all spice berries. Uh, ginger would also be good in this if you like it spicy. So I just put all of those in there and I'm tying off my little bag and I'm gonna put it in my crock pot with that. Now you can add so many other things to your hot cider if you want to. You can do orange slices, you can add orange juice in there, you can even add some fresh cranberries in there. It would be very, very good with any of those options. So I'm just going to put my lid on. We're going to let that sit while we go out. You can do a minimum of two hours on low up to eight hours. And I love to have this in the fall and winter when it's cold outside and you come home and it smells so good and it tastes even better. Enjoy, guys.